was a pit. Excuse me, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Etsy Pets, once again. Um, I'm just trying to fill in a bunch of videos in this past week because I don't have anything else to do. It's kind of sad. I pinched like eight nerves on the left side of my neck two days ago, so that's never fun. So why not help you guys out? Anyways, this way, this um video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a picture look professional using GIMP. Now here. I'm going to try to find a picture that I can manipulate. Um, um, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to look for a picture that I can make a drastic change to. And there's the lucky winner, I think. There we go. View. Fit image to window. Now, as you can see in this photo, um, she has, she, she, um, she, she, her skin has a little bit of flaws in it, and her skin looks like it could be farmed out a little bit, so, I'm going to do that exactly. So, first, go up here and click on the heal button, double click, and then get to a nice scale. And click control, and look for the nicest piece of skin that you can find. So, for her, it's like right here. And just click on the blemishes that you see. Um, just click on the blemishes. I'll be right back when I'm done. Alright, so I've gotten rid of most of her blemishes, but I don't want to remove all of them right away. Because now, click on the smudge tool and double click on that. Find an appropriate size brush. And for this one, it's got to be a pretty good size brush. So. Right here is good, and click on the fuzzy, the biggest fuzzy brush head that you can find, alright? Just, that was a little too much. And find the appropriate size. So this one looks pretty appropriate. And I'll just lightly go over the skin. And you can see the skin that it goes over makes it look completely flawless. The skin that it goes over makes it look completely flawless. And... It gives it overall a nice look. See right there, I messed up, so I'm going to restart all of this. And as you can see the change when I go over the skin. Um, try not to use it everywhere. I mean, you can if you want, but if you use it everywhere, somebody's going to notice, hey, she doesn't usually like that, or he doesn't usually look like that. And then right here, under her eyebrows. And since this is a fuzzy head, you can kind of do it under their eyebrows. It'll kind of make it, oh, no, that's actually good. And you can kind of do it under their eyebrows and stuff. And it'll look fine. Because it's a funny brush. Almost there. Alright. Alright. Excuse me. <coughs> so that looks pretty good. But not good enough. Now well, even under chin. You can kind of smooth it out. Okay. Now that looks pretty good. Now, click on the heal tool again, and just find the little blemishes that you might have missed before. Now she has perfect skin right here, so. I'm gonna click on the little blemishes, and see, like, the fuzzy hair. Kind of just back that up a little bit with this. Maybe make her hair, hairline recede a little bit. Alright. Alright, that looks, that's looking pretty good. Oh, wait, no, it is not looking good at all. I did not see the little blemishes that I was making. Oh, excuse me for that. Just uploading another video. And I don't know why I thought I didn't do anything. I'm s sorry about that. I'm uploading another video for YouTube right now. I've been making video after video for quite a while now. I'm just get rid of the blemishes that you forgot. Or might have missed on the first time. Okay, a little sideburn, goodbye. And everything else look, is looking pretty good right now. Like, oh, that. Oh, one more. Excuse me. Now you can click on the smear tool and undo fuzzy to make it solid. So to get rid of something you don't like. 
Like, if you don't like that, well, then you don't have to have it, because you don't like it. And if you want to, you can smooth out the background, say goodbye to all that and stuff. Just make it, oh, and you can also mess up like that. But I like the environment in the back. This picture was, in fact, taken by me in my backyard, and the person here is my sister. So, um, if you're planning on giving a nasty comment, please save it. All right, all right. And from here, it's looking. She looks. I'm not gonna lie. She looks pretty plastic right here. So left click. Oh, first of all, click on your layers. Left click, and go to new layer. Just click transparency. Just let that go. And slide this picture to the top. And filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I like to have it on 10. So. And everybody's like, oh no, what am I going to do? It's all blurred. It's like, well, no fear. Click edit and go down to fade Gaussian blur. And um, there's many kinds, like dissolve. When you click on them, it'll show them what you do, like overlay. Now overlay, it has a very nice honey-like glow, which really brings out significance in the photo. And there's others, that if somebody might like. Like burn. Over, overlay is a good one though. And um, here, fade it. That looks all pretty good right now. Now, there's a couple other things. Um, I mean, personally, I don't like doing this, but if you want to, be my guest. First, zoom in on the eyes. I'll just pick that eye for instance. And, um, excuse me, I'm trying to. Oh, right there, click on the paintbrush. It's black. Now go down to um, saturation. And that looks pretty good. Now when you click on saturation, right now it looks all unnatural and white and all that. Oh man, actually I had too big of a brush. Okay. So let's let it go right here. I mean, let's say like somebody has really bad red eyes. And from this perspective, I mean, even that little blemish looks really bad from this perspective. And it may be really bad even on the photo. But it, when you look at it from afar, most likely you won't even be able to tell. And if you do, then you can just use a fuzzy brush. View. Get image to window. And yeah, you can sort of tell. But see the effect that I was going for? I'll redo it for you guys. Make sure... So I'm gonna do it for you, I'm gonna do it right. But see the effect is it gives the eyes a perfect whitening. Also, this can also be used to remove braces, believe it or not. As you can click on it too. Clicking actually works better. Just like click on it. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. For the heel, you have to click. Or else it looks really bad. Okay, I'm gonna use the fuzzy brush. Because all this other stuff is not working out. There we go, fuzzy brush to the rescue. Alright, now I'll go to the other eye now. Fuzzy brush. Fuzzy brush everything there. <coughs> Excuse me. And see, she has a little crooked tooth. Not a big deal, though. And if you just put it over the teeth. Now, for some people, this looks unnatural. For others, it looks really natural. And I think for her, it will look unnatural. It just depends on the kind of person that you are. Some people, white teeth just automatically fit in. And um, from your perspective right now, it looks, oh my gosh, it looks so fake. Um... There's no gaps, there's no spaces, well, don't worry, You'll, when you zoom out, it'll look way better. So, view, fit image to window. Now, see what I say about the um, teeth? Look, they look very unnatural, so. Edit, undo that, edit, undo that, edit, edit, undo that. Undo that, undo that. 
Okay, now we do that. And I mean, I mean, like, when you look at it, it's like, it's a really nice picture. Also, something that I learned that's really, really cool. If you use a saturated brush on this, it gives it a, a really awesome effect. Like, for some photos, it gives it a retro perspective. For others, it doesn't, like, here, see. See, like, for this, it gives it gray. It just depends on what you're doing it as. I mean, it really, I like just playing around with this all the time. Kind of like, here, let me find a cool one. Hmm, color maybe? No. Darken. Hard light. Well, I can't find any right now, but here, I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. <coughs> Pictures. Hmm. Um. I'm sorry. Just click on the game photo. Oh, this is the wrong one. Sorry, I have to just shuffle through these real quick. Actually, no, I don't. Undo that. Extra large icon. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. For this photo, I use the same method. And when I use the saturate, I really spice up the photo. Um, this isn't the same photo, but you can tell the difference. Um, the holster sign, it's just a plain white. The background, nothing special. Um, it's in my backyard, really. It's not like, um, in my studio or anything, so it's a plain background. And I mean, you can really spice up photos with Scamp. Like the difference of this is amazing, and even the difference of the photo that we just edited is quite splendid too. I'm gonna show you the difference of what we just edited. Um, this difference is—it's actually a quite significant difference. You look from the left screen to the right screen. I uh, her skin has more her tone of her oh see that little gray and all that. Alright. The tone of her skin is nice honey tone. And this one is a little pimply. I mean teenager. It's an expect it's expected for everybody, but I mean it just really just kills all the bad things that were in there before and gives it a really nice tone. Uh, and the skin it is perfected, the lighting looks nice, the extra hair, the fuzzy hair is gone, completely eliminated. Everything just looks really good. Um, well, that's really all today. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. I have many photos and, excuse me, not photos, many tutorials like this that will be coming on. Um, right now, at first it was a once a week sort of thing going on, but now I'm thinking like two or three a week. Which is looking pretty good because this week by itself I've posted maybe five videos and I'm posting more by the second. And I mean, I've only had my YouTube account for um, um, less than a month. I only have one subscriber, so please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. This is Essie Fix.